Hey, it's Julie with SB Pace. This is Project 365. We're still in the month of July, so we're talking sales. And today's question is, I have a fear of rejection when asking for the sale. How can I get over that? Oh, man. Great question. And honestly, the only way you're going to get over it is by getting rejected. You're just going to have to ask and get rejected. It's okay. Like, quite honestly, asking for the sale is one of the, it's, it's, it's a critical part of the sales process because if you don't ask for it, you're not going to get it. And if you're afraid to ask for it, then you're never going to get any. So, I mean, you sure, like we talked about this before earlier in the month, there are people who are going to buy from you just simply because they're ready to buy and, and you're not going to have to really sell them. But most people, they need to be sold. They need to be talked to. They need to, you need to build that relationship. And it, one thing that I did when I first started doing sales that has really helped me is I tell people up front, when I'm working on that upfront contract, I tell people up front, like, I'm going to ask you for the sale. At some point, we're, you're going to have enough information. We're going to have built a strong enough relationship. You're going to know that I can solve the problem. And we're going to ask you for the sale. And I just want you to know that's coming and to be ready for it. And if it's a yes, fantastic. And if it's a no, that's okay too. I want you to be comfortable telling me no, just as much as you're comfortable telling me yes, and know that I'm going to be really comfortable asking you to say yes or no. And then you've put it out there. And all you have to do next is show them value, build the relationship and get them to really crave your, your offer. And then ask them, you want to buy from me? Worst thing they're going to do is say no. It's not going to happen every time, but it's going to happen from time to time.